Hey everybody, Will from Studio Zombie 3D here. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Anycubic Photon D2. This is Anycubic's new DLP projector that they've released as part of their 7th anniversary celebration. It comes with an upgraded 2K projector. Anycubic has also upgraded the AA system with a double algorithm, which promises to have cleaner prints in the final product. One of the main benefits of the DLP projector is the lifespan. Typically, they last 20,000 plus hours versus 2,000 of the traditional LCD. They also upgraded the build volume by 62% compared to the old Photon Ultra. It's also a very quiet printer and uses very little energy compared to traditional LCD at 15 watts. It also includes the traditional laser engraved platform that Anycubic has become known for. The Photon D2 is designed for jewelry designers, dental, and miniature printers in mind. Let's get right into it. Here we have the Photon D2 on the table out of the box. The first thing you're going to be greeted by is a smiley face carved in the foam. I thought this was a nice touch. Underneath the foam you will find your leveling paper as well as the instruction manual for setting up the printer. Next we're going to go ahead and remove the UV cover. Inside you will find your toolkit and the rest of the parts needed. As with the previous Ultra model, the Photon D2 comes with the blue tinted cover. I find it's a nice change compared to the yellow standard that Danny Kubik is known for. Next up we have our parts box. This just includes our power supply, our filters, and our gloves. Next up we have our bed and vat. Now we can go ahead and remove this piece of foam. One thing I've always liked about these printers from Anycubic is they're very easy to set up and get going. We're just going to get this foam out of the way and continue here. Alright, we have everything laid on the table. We have the blue UV cover the actual printer itself. Here we have the resin vat. Now this resin vat is the same size and vat as used in the Mono 4K, so there are vats and FEPs available on the market right away. Next up we have the Laser Edge build platform. I find these platforms are really good at holding on to prints. You just have to make sure you have enough burn in time and burn in layers. Next up we have the standard three pairs of gloves that come with the printer. You also have three funnels for filtering out your resin when you empty your vat. And one mask. And you get a pack of Allen keys for adjusting the bed level. And here we have a cleaning pack for the screen. Next we have the standard plastic scraper, which I tend not to use with any of my printers. And then the metal scraper used to remove prints from the bed. And here we have our USB stick with our test print and our files. And the bracket and the knob for the bed itself. And here we have our power supply. And then finally our assembly and setup manual. Alright, now the first thing we have to do is install the bracket onto the bed itself. Just remove the four screws on the bed and then attach the bracket. You don't want to tighten them right down at first as you want them loose for the first bed leveling. Alright, now we can go ahead and install the bed on the printer and power it up. Alright, we're going to go ahead and plug this in and power it up.
Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Tools menu and raise the platform. You'll want to hit up a few times to make sure you have enough clearance to get the bed in place. Once it's in position, we're going to go ahead and secure the bed into place. Once the bed is secure, make sure the four screws are loose on the bed itself. That way the bed can move up and down freely. And we're ready to go. We're going to go ahead and grab the piece of leveling paper that came in the printer box. We're going to put this over the glass and then hit the home button. Once the bed is settled into its final position, go ahead and apply light pressure and then tighten the four screws up. Once the bed is secure and the paper is snug, we're going to back out of the menu and hit Z equals zero to save the home position. Then hit enter and the bed will rise. All right, and here we have a look at the new 2K projector inside the Photon D2. It's just a piece of glass up top. So unlike the LCD projectors, you don't have to worry about the damage to this piece of glass as much as you do with those. If the glass gets cracked, you can simply replace it. And here I am just using the exposure test to see how the projector works. They also include a focus pattern. So if your prints aren't looking quite crisp, your projector may be out of focus. They include a nice grid pattern to help you dial in the projector. And here we have the focus test pattern used to focus the projector. Looks pretty sharp. Let's go ahead and load some resin and see what it can do. Now all that's left to do is install our resin vat, pour some resin in there and try a test print. Any cubic send a bottle of the recommended DLP Craftsman resin to use for the Photon D2. Be sure to shake the resin up really well. Usually two to three minutes is good enough. Next, we're gonna load the printer and we're gonna start the test print and see how it looks. All we gotta do is put the cover on now and start the print. And here we are in the main screen. And let's see how the test print looks. And here are some of the photos of the prints I did during my review and testing. The amount of detail that the Photon D2 can achieve is absolutely amazing. I was just blown away by the amount of detail and quality, even up close. The 16x AA and double algorithm does an amazing job of getting rid of layer lines as well. The prints almost look cast. Alright everybody, that was my quick review of the Photon D2. This is one of the best resin printers I've ever tested, and the print quality is just amazing. Thanks for watching everybody, be sure to like and subscribe for more content for Studio Zombie 3D. Also be sure to check out our various social media to see what's going on in the studio. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next video.